So, welcome today. Today uh, we're gonna talk about a bit of an obscure topic. We're gonna talk about turbulent drippers. Uh, what are turbulent drippers? Um, maybe you uh, heard them under another ter name uh, called micro drippers. And those are basically uh, little outlets for uh, gardening and for watering plants uh, that you can attach to a water line with a given pressure and it doesn't matter if the pressure on the line changes the dripper will always put out the same volume of water in this case two liters per hour and I asked myself how do those little things work and so I opened one up and in the middle I found this disc. So this disc is quite sturdy. It isn't a silicon disc. So it's not a pressure compensated dripper, just a turbulent dripper. Those are a little bit different. They use a silicon diaphragm to, to compensate and the turbulent drippers um, only use turbulent flow in those little uh, ridges. Uh, in this little tu tunnel here. Um, there is some math about this. Uh, you can design this so it will have a given flow at a given pressure and I could be wrong about this but I, I think I also uh, saw a paper that said you can uh, build this in a way that those drippers stay quite constant um, even if you change the pressure. It's not as perfect as a silicon diaphragm uh, compensated dripper, but it's it's not linear. Uh, the, when you give it, let's say, one bar of pressure, it will drip two liters an hour. And when you give it 10 bars of uh, pressure, it maybe will drip three to four liters an hour, but, but not uh, it, the tens of it. it. It's not linear. And, and that's quite interesting because it's it's a very low-tech piece uh, <laughs> of tech. It's it's just a, a plate with with a pattern in it. And that, that is quite interesting what you can do with turbulent flow. So I decided, hmm, can I replicate this maybe with my 3D printer? And I just tried. Uh, I tried multiple sizes, a small one, a medium one, and uh, this one. Uh, it basically tries to do the same thing. It uses a channel uh, that goes around in a cycle and uh, tries to create some turbulences. Uh, uh, I have the files for this uh, in the description if you want to try it out. Uh, this dripper, for example, I created here does about 24 liters an hour, but I also have a stacked version of this that uh, uh, does a lot less. Uh, you can just change the, the design and make it drip whatever amount you want. Uh, but I have to say this is not scientifically accurate what I'm doing. I'm basically eyeballing the whole thing since I didn't do the math on the wideness of the channel. I just did this one and I know it's 24 liter and if I want to have the half of it I just uh, uh, duplicate the maze again on top of it and thereby halving the volume that flows through it. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's basically it about those little nifty things. I, I tried to print one that was a little bit slimmer but uh, this one was a bit leaky. I'm printing those in ABS uh, with 100% infill and it helps to keep them watertight. Uh, but you still have to do uh, quite thick walls because I'm normally testing those at three bars of water pressure and yeah, you want to have thick 100% infill walls if you want to print those. So that's, that's basically it for today. Um, See the Thinkiverse page for more info and uh, on more info how you can change the parameters in the FreeCAD files for this. 
and I guess I see you next time.